Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, teacher. Oh, how are you, Rocio? Hi. I'm doing okay, thank you. How was your day? It's okay. Good, good. And your day? Good evening. Good evening. Oh, I had a good day, a little bit busy. Uh, and I feel a little bit tired. I don't know why. <laughs> Do you have uh, more classes? Um, you know, Mondays and Tuesdays, I teach from 7.30 to 8.30, then from 10 to 12, another one from 1 to 2 p.m., no, 12 to uh, 1 p.m., and this class plus another one. Okay. You so are I, busy. <laughs> yes, I teach two for six hours, okay. uh, Mondays and Tuesdays. Yeah, six hours. Yep. All right, welcome back. What's today's date? Yes, people. Today is on Tuesday, 8th, no, August 18th. 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 Yes. One. Exactly. Very good. Okay, eight to nine. He is raining a lot. Do you guys know where Xiomara lives? Do you know where she lives? Who? Do you know where Xiomara lives? Xiomara. Xiomara. No. No? Okay. Anyway. Who is Xiomara? It's one of your classmates. Classmate. And she recently wrote to the chat saying that she has a connection problems because it's raining a lot where she lives. Oh. Maybe Santana. Could, could be close because Anna, I think. Yeah, it's it, here where I live is almost it's going to rain. Where do you live, Isidro? Santa Ana in Rio. Where? Santa Ana. The but, city. Uh, the, the neighbor, yeah, Santa Ana is the city. The, neighbor is, the neighborhood is uh, Rio Salto. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, because Lourdes, apparently, it's, it's clear there is no rain or anything. But here, I, I, I guess that maybe in one hour it's going to rain. Like, okay. I love the rain when I'm home. Yeah. I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Okay, welcome back. Thank you for being present on your last day of Intermediate One. Uh, it's been one month already. Thank you for your patience, your dedication, your commitment, your interest uh, to be better each day. Okay, do you remember the topics we covered uh, last night? Yes, teacher. What were the topics? We were speaking about the, uh, we about the past tense. Past tense. Mm -hmm. What else? Perfect. Uh, present perfect. Right. What is the function of present perfect? It's something like uh, I did it. Uh, maybe in short time. Maybe. <laughs> okay, someone else? Claudia, Glenda, Edith, what is the function of the present perfect? Uh, 
Teacher, here is starting to rain. Do you what? listen? Where are you, Carlos? In Ciudad Delgado. Oh, okay. Sorry, right. but uh, for the moment, all is okay. But maybe soon it's going to rain more. Uh, maybe. Okay. All right. Uh, any volunteer to explain the function of the present perfect? Everybody should be saying, me, me, I'll answer, I'll answer. Uh-huh. Do you pay attention? Do you take notes? Can I explain? All right. So we use the perfect, perfect present to speak about an action that we are already done in the past. Uh -huh. What could be, is going to be uh, any incidents or relevance in the present. Okay, yeah. So something that's happened in the past, the past. and still is connected to present. present. Right. And maybe when you're speaking, maybe you're not doing the action yet, but you can do it in the future. Yes, yes. Right? Questions or comments? How do you say me he caído muchas veces? De la bicicleta. I have fallen several times. I have fallen several times from my bike. Okay. My bike. Yeah. okay. That is an unfinished activity. Because next week, if you ride your bicycle again, maybe you can fall again. <laughs> because that accidents are like that. Okay. Questions or comments, people? No. Okay, I'm going to dictate four topics. Everybody, please take notes. Four topics. Take notes. All right. Number one. Present perfect. Number two. Used to. Used to. Number three. Second conditional. And number four, wishes. So present perfect, used to, second conditional, and wishes. wishes. Okay? So your first activity, you're going to be working with somebody, you will analyze which of the four topics was the most relevant to you? Was it difficult? Was it easy? Was it completely new to you? Uh, was it only a review? So you tell me. Let me make the, the pairs to all people. Any questions about the instructions? I guess not. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We only have to discuss about. Exactly. Topics. Exactly. Only speaking. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Here we go. Can you hear me? 
escucha bien, sí. A little. I have, I have, I have problem connection internet. No, no. Yeah, oh, I see. Oh, you. Oh, oh, me. Uh, well, I, I, mm, and I don't know what, what the word, but I hear entrecortado. Yeah. Así se escucha. Uh, teacher. The word is choppy. The exercise, teacher. Excuse me? Ah, uh, chop. choppy. Choppy, choppy. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Uh-huh. Okay, start speaking. All right. Um, first, uh, we're talking about uh, person perfect. Pre yeah, person perfect. And I, I think uh, that for un, one of the function of person perfect as a linking between. Is it only instruct? This is only structured, uh, structure, um, the or, uh, structure present perfect of uses to. Yes. Yes, I think that that's one of the difficult. When yeah, we use... one of the one of the way that we can do about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, we need to practice uh, something more. Yeah. Um, for example, I was investment the, um, the irregular verbs. Mm -hmm. I got it. And used I to used to used to refers to something that regularly didn't I pass. Did. Uh-huh, yes. 
Um, uh, yesterday we uh, did some
since es cuando especificamos el tiempo específico. Desde, digamos, desde 1994. Ajá, uh -huh. since. She has worked at the university besides. Ajá, 1994. No, sorry. Uh, 1994. No, but you don't have to, to, to uh, put the verb in past because the auxiliary didn't is in past automatically. Okay, thank you. Yeah. If you are doing the, uh, making this question in negative, I didn't use to. It's in past or matter. Okay, thanks. Oh, I haven't read yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, um, I, I'm very busy every day in my work. Oh, okay. In the book, are the verbs? Mm -hmm. The oh, list really? of the verbs? Oh, all of them. Uh, yes. Uh, the teacher said that the, the book is very good. Yeah, I remember that she took a picture about that book, but I didn't implement it, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Print. 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 Yeah, but to practice at home, uh, it will be a, a good idea to have that book. Yes, uh, I printed some some page, not all the books. Mm -hmm. So only um, twenty five pages, something like that. Yes. And do you do you have?
All right, any questions or comments about present perfect, used to, wishes, or second conditional? Teacher, excuse me. Yes, Carmen Maria. When, when use wishes, when use cool on wood or wood? Uh huh. Please yes. ex explain. You can use it. Remember, what? Please. When you're expressing wishes, um, usually you use the, the simple past form. Yes. I wish I had a big mansion. I wish I had a big right. mansion. I wish I knew how to surf. I wish I knew how to surf. Now, the past tense of can is what? Good, good. So I wish I could speak Japanese. I wish I could speak Italian. So wishes are usually with the past form of the verb, including could and would too. Thank you. Sure. Anybody else? Any other questions? Maybe teacher, uh, I, I wish I were. I wish in I were in Mexico. In Mexico, all right. I wish I were the president. I wish I were the, I don't know, the supervisor, things like that. Right. Questions or comments? No? No. Uh, any questions about the present perfect or second conditional? The four topics that I'm asking you for are very, very important for you to know, for you to express your ideas better. Questions before we change. Okay, let me ask you the following question before we change activities. Do you prefer to be employed right. or would you prefer to have your own business? The two scenarios have pros and cons. So which yes. one do you prefer? It's the band teacher. Uh-huh. Yeah, if I but the kind of employee. For example, for example, I wish I were the CEO of Banco Agricola, for example. Okay. CEO. In, in, in this case, I I wish uh, I wish were employed, but if my uh, if my job is is bad. Uh, I wish were uh, empresario, no sé business person, businessman. Uh -huh. businessman. Okay, good. That's a good point. Yeah, it depends on the business that you're talking about. Yeah. Right. Anybody else? Another opinion? Yes. Uh, I have the same thinking because. Okay. Uh, when you are a business person, the responsibilities increase. It's not only the job you yeah. you you make. You must think in jobs of another people that work for you. Exactly. Yeah. So but when maybe they... if you are employed, you, you have more responsibility because you have to get up at a specific time to be on time at your work. But if you are your own owner, you say, I'm going to stay at home a, a bit for more. But, but, of not, but not all of time. But when you, <laughs> you are a business person, you should be the first and work at work. Yeah, especially at the because beginning of the core, at the, of the yeah. business. Yeah, because it's we your should. money. If you don't work a lot, you don't earn a lot. Right, right. 
Yeah. So yeah, I agree. Discipline. Yeah, at the beginning, you should be the one yeah. working the most. Then when you yeah. when everything yeah. is settled and established, say, well, it's my time to sleep a little more. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm life. going. Yeah. I'm going to present to you a set of questions related with business. So let me um, see this here. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. How will you define business? Would you like to have your own business? Let me send you the questions. Uh, eight to nine. Have problem with internet. Me too, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Take a picture. If you want to take a screenshot, go ahead and do it. That's not a problem. And let's create the Pairs, recreate, recreate. This person will go here. This person will go here. And this person goes here. So everybody has a partner. Here we go. Three, three, two, and two. Let's do it. Let's see. Room three. Here we go.
application to the the client, and that you are going to have a problem with that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And what about you, Carlos Mosquito? And <laughs> always in the number one. Yeah. Now, um, I see the. Um, I. Do you have a own business? Mm, do you have own business? Mm, I have. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, it's all different to, to have your own business Carlos? Hola. Hola. Would you like Hola. to have your own business?
Hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. How are you? I feel good, but it's raining a lot. So where are you? What part of El Salvador are you in? In San Salvador, but it's in Nejapa. Oh, oh so it's, it, it's kind of near from Lourdes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I hear a little bit of rain now here. Yeah, it, it's right now, it's rain. Yeah, I, I hear thunder. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, any questions about the last uh, activity? People? It's a, it's a good topic. Right. Topics yeah. that you can uh, think about in a real life situation. Yes. <laughs> and it's interesting because sometimes the people doesn't have a good job. And we think about this, like make a arm business. Arm business. Yes. Right. You know, a uh, coincidence that I was talking with somebody today and this person mentioned exactly the same thing. You know, I want a, a better house. I want to uh, I want to travel. I want to have a better car, but I'm afraid to become independent because he has responsibilities. You have bills to pay. So, uh, yeah, I think that if everybody had the chance, the right scenario to become independent, I think everybody will give it a try. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. Any questions or comments? No? All right. So let me let me show you the last site that is good for you to practice your listening. I think I showed it to you before. I don't remember exactly. Do you, do you guys remember English Club? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yes. English Club. Oh. Uh. Give me a second. You need to install the toolbar. Uh, right. Okay, you, you see the site? You see the link? Yes. Okay, so you click here. Mm -hmm. And this will appear. It's uh, everything is usually white and brown. So you see the bar here, grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, listen, speak, read, write. Everything related to the language is right here. So personally, when I use with this with my students, I go to, uh, to the listening part. Hold on. I go to the listening part show you listen right here and you're gonna see this looks like magazines and then you have online dictation can you see it mm -hmm. okay you click here and when you click three categories will appear you will have elementary, intermediate, and advanced. So let's try with elementary. You click, and there it gives you the, the options to practice these particular topics. Um, good to know. Good uh, questions, people, quantities. So let's say questions. And this is what you do. 
Number one, you listen to it at a normal speed. Listen carefully. Will you be here on Sunday? Will you be here on Sunday? What, did, what does the recording say? Will you be here on Sunday? Uh -huh. Now, this is at a normal speed, at a normal speed. If you think that number one is too difficult, you go to number two. Will you be here on Sunday? Question mark. And it even tells you the, the, the punctuation mark that they're using. So what is your mission? You listen to number one, and here you type what you hear. Uh, and then you will say, let me see if my answer is right. You clicking number four, it says show answer. And this is what they said. What is the correct answer? Will you be here on Sunday? Uh-huh, listen carefully. Will you be here on Sunday? Got it? Got it. So this is good to practice your listening, elementary, uh, intermediate, or advanced. It's 8.57. Um, do you have any questions about this site? The name is English Club. Yes. Okay, so I want to say thank you for these past four weeks. Thank you for being persistent. Thank you for insisting on improving your uh, English language. And hopefully we continue working in, in level number two. Thank you very much. You guys have my phone number. If you ever have any questions about anything related with the language, feel free to ask. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for you. your time, teacher. Thank you, too, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye, take care. Bye, take care. Bye. Bye. you too. Do the same. Bye. Bye-bye.